listener production. Hi, it's James Lake with you. The Prime Minister is urging Australians to look beyond division and focus on our shared values as Australia Day approaches. It's after Cricket Australia made a decision to downplay the term Australia Day during the upcoming Gabba test, which has sparked criticism. Anthony Albanese has told Sky News we need to dial things down a bit. I think we need to stop looking for areas in which we can be outraged. We need to come together. Look, it's people will go to the cricket people will celebrate, or for some people, for First Nations people, I respect uh, the views. Corrupt former cop Roger Rogerson has died overnight in hospital. The 83-year-old was serving a life sentence at Long Bay Prison when he suffered a brain aneurysm. Rogerson was once the most decorated officer in New South Wales, but also known to be the most corrupt in the underworld. Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, has been diagnosed with skin cancer only six months after being treated for breast cancer. And Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis has now abandoned his bid to move into the White House, throwing his support behind Donald Trump. Our Aussies may have bottomed out now in the singles draw at the Oz Open, but there's plenty of representation still in the mixed doubles today. And all Aussie affair hits court three. There's top seeds Matt Ebden and Storm Hunter take on Andrew Harris and Jamie Forless, while Olivia Gadecki and Mark Polmans also continue their quest in the second round. Elsewhere, Alain Perez also matches up with Dutch partner John Julian Roger. And the Perth Wildcats have made it six wins in a row now after holding off the Sydney Kings at Kudos Bank Arena overnight.